Hola. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, there we go. Much better. I don't really hear myself. Well, go through voice meter. Or not voice meter, wow. Uh, voice mod. There's a slight delay. But other than that, it's uh, not too bad, not too shabby. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. This is getting things going here tonight. How is, uh, how's everyone going? How's everyone doing? How's everyone going? Wow. How is everyone going? I don't know. How are they going? Uh, they're going. Sure. Ah. Uh. So we got a fun little show or a little um, stream for tonight. We're gonna be talking about some Secret World Legends mods and how to install them, what they are, and uh, all that cool stuff for a game Secret World Legends. So it's gonna make things a lot easier um, I'm not going to bring up the game just yet because there's going to be some, when I'm doing the install process, uh, I need to restart the game. So instead of bothering to bring it up, close it out, install, bring it back up again, I'll just go ahead and do the install and then bring up the game. It might, it makes things a lot easier, you know? All right, um, let's see here. So how many people have heard about Secret World Legend? It's actually a pretty fun game. It's, um, it's an MMO. It deals with uh, that all myths and legends are true. You get to play as your character it can be either Illuminati, Templar, or Dragon. Those are the different factions, the three different factions that you can play. And each faction has a different, um, I would say storyline, but they all kind of intertwine together, but they're separate enough to have their own individuality, their own, you know, uniqueness. So that's a, that's a cool way of looking at the game. And it's, it's, it's a lot different than, you know, your normal um, fantasy uh, uh, dwarves and elves and, and wizards and, and stuff like that. So it kind of breaks away from the, uh, the, the, the norm of an MMO. All right, so the stream elements bot is running. A beep boop, a boop beep. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be recording a video as well for um, this channel, the Two Ton Waffle channel. Um, it's coming Friday. We're going to be doing another video recording session uh, discussing some streamer stuff, some streamer help that is going to go on the Collective Network YouTube channel. But all my uh, live streams here are definitely going to be part of the two-ton waffle brand i should say because i'm more than just you know playing a game and then let's have some fun and, and that's it that's that's why that's why i do over on twitch youtube is a different it's more i'm not going to say ingrained with things but it's more uh robust it's more niched to what I'm actually doing. So I do mostly gameplays, I also do streamer stuff, and just streamer help and everything like that. And I've done a lot of videos on Gilded here on the Two Ton Waffle channel that, you know, how to start up a, or set up a bot in Gilded and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be branching off and do a little bit more uh, streamer stuff 
but those vi those edited videos are going to go over on the collective network the youtube channel and this channel is focusing on gaming and indie dev and all sorts of cool stuff like that indie games i should say no, i can't i don't have the uh, skill set to make my own independent game i don't have time who's got the time for that nobody's got time for that. <laughs> all right um do, 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 do. Been looking through and um, uh, how do you search? I forgot how you search on Discord. Uh, right there. Because a lot of the this game has been around for a while. I mean, and also the, the the reboot of it has been around for 27, no. Yeah, 2017, I want to say. So it's been out for a while. Unfortunately, a lot of the mods, there's no really new, there's no new ones. All the mods have been uh, from 2017 to 2018. I don't think I've seen anything earlier or later or recently, I should say. And looking through a lot of the stuff, uh, I've noticed that one of the mods I was going to talk about is no longer there. Uh, Fashionista is gone. I think because a lot of a lot of it is the people who made these mods have moved on. They, they're not around anymore. So, but it's the unfortunate thing of uh, an older game where any kind of mod development has stagnated. It's just no longer there. It's not relevant in the mod community. But a lot of the mods, or most, pretty much all the mods we're gonna talk about tonight is uh, older from like, was, let's see here, there's, um, let's, I'll go ahead and bring this over. Uh, let's see the oldest. Well, if I don't want to do by oldest, sort by last updated. Oh, I take that back. There is, it's a boss mod for a New York raid. It is. Okay, what does that go there? I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's the uh, a Lurker is Announced mod. I don't have any experience in dungeon raids, let alone a New York raid. So unfortunately, I'm not going to cover that. I will cover that, but it's just basically the reading of what it is. That's what you want to get from me. You're gonna have to do. Um, I'm gonna do. Uh, cartographer stuff for mapping your reticle HUD and the uh, role play mod. Oh, clickable name tags. I think four to five mods should be plenty. What's up? What's up, Kaylee? Should be plenty to talk about in a in a video. And of course, I would have the link and everything down below in the description. Somebody wants attention now. Here she goes. Like, what are you doing? You gonna let me out sometime? No, we never let you out.
if you haven't seen my uh, previous vid um, videos and uh, streams, she is always usually with me throughout the whole day. At night, it, this is a rare occasion that she's here. Usually she sleeps in her bed behind me. Oh, there she goes. The mandatory cleaning, the nine o'clock cleaning has commenced. She's a little chunker. But yeah, um, that's what we're going to be do doing tonight. Uh, going over some mods, Secret World Legends, a, a, a little bit. This is not the focus of the uh, stream for tonight. Uh, we talk, we'll talk about it. Uh, I gotta... Yeah, I should have used different keys. I was being lazy. I gotta change the title here. Just a moment. That's going to change the uh, uh, title on Fridays, but that's okay. I'll allow embedding. There we go. Helps get the, um, the algorithm out there and picking up the video, making sure everything is all set, ready to go. But yeah. to do my Twitter what's up No angry typing or anything back there.
Yeah, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Gonna go over a couple things. But yeah. Um so yeah, that's uh that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. Alright, uh let's go ahead. Um I'm getting everything all prepared for the video. Of course I'm gonna have to let Haley out of the room here in just a moment. Cause she's gonna be a pain in the butt, I know that for a fact. Yes, you are. You're gonna be a pain in the booty. Yep. Cause I know as soon as I hit record, she's gonna go right up to that door and start meowing very loud. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I, I know you can probably hear it. <laughs> So let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Be right back. Yep. That's what she wanted. I'll just do the simple thing and just turn off the music during the recording process because I like to do, um, add in any kind of music while I'm doing the editing because what's going to happen is I'm going to be cutting. Uh, I know there's going to be jump cuts here and there and of course when you do a jump cut you got a song playing of course when you wherever you cut to it's going to be seconds or maybe a minute. And it's going to sound completely off. It's going to be so odd. So I'll do that. But let's go ahead and get that set up. I have the. Um, page here in the lower window then I'll switch over to the uh, video for recording I got a different scene for this so everything's all scripted out I don't have any chat alerts or anything that goes on during the recording process so that's why it looks a lot different okay And if you got any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in chat uh, about anything after. I won't be able to really go over on during record when I record, but afterwards or prior, I'll be uh, more than happy to answer as best I can. Like, whoa. Well, it sounded like, like, woo. I know that's not what you're saying. All right. But yeah, tonight is, is this kind of like a, uh, it's a chill night. These, these, these streams are pretty much a, uh, whatever goes. We do talk about the topic that we have on hand and there is going to be a lot of uh, derailment of thought so that's par for the course of what you to be expected there in these YouTube streams so buckle in folks <laughs> alright so I know there is one other yeah this is the one That you have to change. It's a different process. But 
I mean, it's not too bad. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I'm looking at the uh, the forums over on Funcom. On the untold stories of the secret world, I don't know how well that's going to be useful to a lot of people. It's probably maybe 10 people total to actually use this. I'm reading some of the stuff here that a lot of it is breaking. Can I do any more recent security protocols? Most browsers depreciated and various website hosts follow. Unsecured HTTP remain the same. Works in a game in game browser. Yeah, so it was the last time, just recently, but the last time, the last entry was March of 2019. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much move. There, if the thing is, a lot of these mods don't have much movement for up being updated or anything like that. So, of course, I'm gonna st uh, stipulate that in the video many times. It's one of those things where use at your own risk. Yeah, so the untold stories of the secret world mod uh, doesn't work well because an in-game browser no longer supports HTTPS links. The links to Wikipedia, Walmart accessed You can move that content to a server that uses TTP links and update your mission point to a notification. But that's the thing is you don't want, you really don't want to be opening up non secured links on the uh, internet because that would not be fun. That would not be good. All right, so what about uh, August of 2018? So the reticle HUD last update was on August 2018. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of um, use at your own risk type deals. I don't have any problem if I completely butcher my install of uh, Secret World because guess what? I, I can just wipe it out and start all over again. Who cares? All right. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, uh, get started with doing the recording, doing a video and now it's chair, not me. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead, turn off the music, so we'll have a clean background. All right, here we go. Okay, check, check, mic check, video check. Everything is checked, ready to go. All right, recording is started, let's go.
Little intro start. So you've uh, installed the game Secret World Legends and you want to find out if there's any way to enhance your gameplay. Well, there's a good thing that there is a small mod community that has been going on for the past, oh, since the beginning of the game started. So let's go ahead and take a trip into some memory lane of some of these mods. Come on, let's take a look. That's where we go into this scene. Now, the game Secret World Legends has been around for almost, what, eight years, or probably longer than that. Originally, it started out as a game on that you would have to download or purchase by a subscription and then continue on playing. Then they went over to a free-to-play model where a lot of stuff um, got more interesting. The player dynamic changed a little bit with that. Now, a lot of the people that were playing the game back in the day used to create mods to, you know, flavor and enhance the gaming gaming experience, like a uh, different kind of HUD on your reticle or whatever that you were using at the time, or a a mapping overlay for showing where lore like locations or boss locations were. A lot of these mods are still in use and available to download today. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of these. I'm not going to go show you all of them because that's going to take too much time. But we're going to look at some of the um, popular, not really popular, but let's just go ahead and take a look. Now, all of these mods can be found at curseforge.com. I'll go ahead and have the link directly to this particular page. So it makes things a lot easier for you when you see this video or when you watch this video at a later date. Now I have to do a little stipulation here. A lot of these mods are old. The last time that they were updated was 2018, 2019. There's a few of them that have been recently updated. But the last time, as you can see here, there's three of them that were updated in 2020 and then one of them in 2021. Prior to that, the next one will be updated in October 13 of 2017. So I do have to say use at your own risk. If you do mess up the installation, there, there is an easy way to uninstall these mods. And if that doesn't work, what you could do is completely uninstall your game. If you have a Steam version, it's also an easy way to do it as well. Or the standalone version, you can try that. Now. That's out of the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them that I was looking at that would help you when you're fighting, you know, zombies and all sorts of other stuff within the game. This is the reticle HUD. This kind of gives you a up and close or pretty much in your face option of what your powers and your abilities, what their charge rate, their cooldown, and stuff like that. Now, as it says, it's an overhaul of the combat UI that puts the heads up and back into HUD. Haha. Yeah, it's a little uh, cheesy. <laughs> now, a lot of this is you have to go through the features. There's a long list of features for every single uh, weapons or abilities that you can use. Now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and install this one. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit download. Now, you can also use the uh, CurseForge app. I really did not have a a good, let's say, a, a pleasant experience with this app to begin with. So I like to do it a manual install. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on it. Download. It's going to download a zip file. I want to save as, and I want to go ahead, let's go ahead, put it in a folder on my OneDrive here, uh, SWL mods. And of course it keeps its file name. All right, so let's go ahead, open the file and go ahead, unzip it, extract it there. Now you got 
several different files here and let's we're gonna go ahead and walk through and how to install this particular mod. So we'll go ahead and go back to the main page here and we wanna move the particular files. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna open up another instance of my Explorer window. So it'd be kind of easy just to drag and drop what I need to need to do here. So I'm gonna go to where I have installed my Secret World Legends. Now this is all different depending on how you have set up your Steam install. For me, I still have it on the local or the C drive, which is typically your default location. Now, of course, this is where I do a jump cut. So you're not watching a video of me trying to find where I've put my crap. Where did I do this? What did I do? Okay, program files. Uh, where, where, where did I install this? Oh, did I put it on here? Yep, Steam. Steam apps. Common. Secret World Legends. Okay. So in my case, I have actually put it on a different hard drive. And now for Steam games, it's going to be under whichever hard drive you have. Under Steam, Steam apps common and then the game's title so this is what you should see here so what we're going to do i'll move this into view so you can see it is i got to move the descendant.hud.reticle folder extracted from the zip archive into the data gui custom flash folder under your secret world legends folder all right, so let's go ahead and find the data, GUI, custom, flash. And I'm gonna move this entire folder into here. Under your Secret World Legends folder, okay. And, and it also has the Steam install location as well. So it, a lot of these have been updated for Steam because Secret World Legends was available to be purchased and downloaded via Steam uh, six years ago, I want to say. It's kind of, I, I forget exactly when, but it's, it's available on Steam and it has been for quite some time. Now, under your Secret World Legends folder, there should now be a data GUI custom flash this folder modules XML alongside some other folders. Now here is where you can you can also set this up as a uh, configuration. So we're going to go ahead and open up this folder. And it's going to be a uh, modules.xml, which is this folder or this file right here. Now, what you want to do is go ahead, let's open up or actually edit. And of course, for me, it opens up the word pad. Now, you can scale the mods UI by just reading through here. You can change the scale or change the mods UI scale by changing the value between um, one and 100, or it defaults to 100. So we're gonna go ahead and keep everything as default for this video, but if you wanna go ahead and tinker, this, this helps you go through that whole process of troubleshooting, figuring out what works best for you. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna fire up Secret World Legends and we're gonna see how this has worked. Hold on with, bear with me. And again, this is gonna be another jump cut. Oh, 
of course, I don't know if there's going to be a update. Probably there will be. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, uh, go ahead and put it in a chat. If you're watching this after the fact, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and I'll get to them and try to best answer them as best as I can. I try to put the word best in as many places as I can. That works. Come on, SWL. There we go. And hopefully it doesn't crack. I had that issue last week. Oh. Did we crash? Looks like we crashed. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, so I have the game opened up here. So let's go ahead and log into our character. And hopefully, if we've done everything correctly, our reticle HUD should be showing as soon as we log in. Now when this go ahead uh, loads up, um, I'm going to close out the game and then do the next install. Why didn't it show? So we're now logged into our character and it does work. So when you don't have any targets available, it's not going to appear. But let's go ahead and hop into, let's go ahead and hop into King's Mouth, King's Myth real quick. So I can show you exactly what you'll see. Now, again, you can tweak this as much as you can, change out the scale UI to be bigger or smaller. And in my case, when straight out of the box, straight to default, it does come, it does appear to be a little bit small. I'll show you here in just one moment. All right, let's, uh, Find something to kill. Goodbye, friend. Now, I think one of the options you can have that automatically stay on, but let's go ahead and continue with the video here. So as I round this corner, there's some zombies here that are attacking this, this house. Okay, so I have them targeted. As you notice, my reticle has changed colors. And as I fire my main, you'll see the cooldown and everything else. And they're attacking a uh, cooldown as well. So your reticle appears, you can change the, the the scale whatever things that you want for the tweak so this kind of makes things a lot easier to see as you're battling uh, multiple enemies and my game crashed <laughs> all right that's the end of that section that's a good point to just leave it well good thing i had finished explaining All right. Bring up this. What was the other one I was going to look at?
cartographer. I think that was the one, right? Yep. Okay, this one may randomly crash your game when opening it. Be willing to accept that you may see the desktop instead. Uh, game crashes already, so. What else is new? <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the... All right, so the next one, this one is called clickable name tags. This is very helpful, especially if you're in a large area and you got multiple people uh, milling about or walking around in your uh, immediate vicinity. What this one, this mod will let you select other players by clicking on their name tags. Now, you can also do uh, a left click, allows you to left click on a player name tag, or both, allows you to both left and right click a name tag. Now you can also do right click opens an interaction menu. You know, you're normal when you hover over someone and press F and then you see that menu. Now, unfortunately this one does not support clicking on NPCs or pets. Now I'm not going to install this. We're just going to go ahead and continue uh, along with the video. RPs. Okay. Hopefully this one works. All right, this next one is for the next two are actually for the, your role players within the Secret World Legends community. And there's still a, a large or decently sized community of role players that go around and role play and conduct stories and just have a very fun time within the world of Secret World Legends. This one is a tab that is added to your friend's window. What it does, it shows you other role players that have that has this mod installed, where they are located. If say if they're at the uh, Horned God in London, or if they're on another instance, what it also does is you can instantly see. All right, I can see my friend. He's over at the Horned God. You can click on it and then be automatically sent to their instance to facilitate more of the role playing. Uh, that you were looking forward to doing. Now, let's go ahead and install this because I do want to show you in game. Now, the last, the first um, uh, mod I downloaded, I've been having some issues with the game crashing. I don't think it was because of the mod. Again, I'm going to say this, use these mods at your own risk. So if if you're experiencing any more game crashing or anything that's happening, what you can do is try to uninstall the mod and see if that helps. If it doesn't, go ahead and wipe out your game installation. Yes, you'll have to redo everything. If you installed other mods that were working, you just have to go one by one to see which one was the culprit in causing the problem. So let's go ahead, extract. Now, just like any other mods for Steam, you're going to have to go to your Steam, Steam apps, common, Secret World Legends. And then, of course, this one has to be 
uh, all the stuff that you unzip from the file will be put into the data slash GUI slash custom slash flash location of the folder structure. So um, that's what I'm doing currently right now. Now, each time that you open up or you install a mod, it is a good idea that you have your game closed uh, or exited completely. So hopefully you'll have that taken care of. Hey, Naya, how's it going? How you doing tonight? Just getting this installed. Going through some mods for this game and recording a video, so. Not gonna be a lot of cuts. <laughs> oh, we got. So you've been you guys have been making some soap. Now you're going to your fight club later. <laughs> A kid. Hopefully this works. That shows up. Or the game doesn't crash. Okay. So we All right. So when when you get into the game and you're gonna open up your friends list, you'll notice there is a new tab all role, role players and like I mentioned before it sets up or shows you a list of other role players that have this particular mod installed where they are located and you can easily go to let's say this one right here and you can either meet up and go to their instance and they have here in a list on this table if auto meetup is set up and ready to go so this is the RP list mod Let's go ahead and go to another one. So we're going to go ahead and close the game and exit it all the way. Just close, exit now. <laughs> Maybe we'll all talk about it. Hey, you know the first rule. <laughs> first rule of Fight Club. Do not talk about Fight Club. <laughs> All right, and the last mod. All right, the last mod that I'm going to talk about for tonight is again another role play mod. This one helps you flesh out your character by showing other people that sh a link for. Well, let me start this again. Uh, this is actually Secret World Legends. It's actually a pretty fun game. It's uh deals with like, all myth and legends are real, and you get to play as like a uh either within three factions like the Illuminati, the Templars, and the Dragons. All right, so this mod is for your character sheet, so to speak. It helps you flesh out your biography of your character and anything else that a potential role player that has ventured across your character to, you know, figure out exactly what's going on. If, if they're a good role player, they'll, they'll ask you first. That's a, that's a good hint right there. Now, this one is like with anything else, but you won't be able to find this on CurseForge. What you'll have to do, there is a list on CurseForge that will direct you to profile 
www.swlrp.com. And this is the page that you will land on. So what you want to do is click on the download tab. And it's like any other mod. It's you want to go ahead and download. Click here where it says here. Save as and it's the same process as another zip file. And it's going to be the same process as well. It's they have a handy dandy installation for Steam or a standalone client. And you're gonna be putting it in the same place as the data GUI custom flash folder. What I'm gonna do. No, I don't. Bring the menu SWF. Uh, of course, this one's going to mess me up. Damn it. I changed it. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool game. I've been playing this for quite a while. Um, when it first released, it was um, called Secret, the, the Secret World. Uh, they redid everything like they kind of like had a, a reboot of the game a couple years ago it made things a lot easier they streamlined the um, skill tree to make it a lot easier for people coming in because there's a lot of duplicates uh, and it was just kind of complicated and of course you have your distract uh, your detractors saying oh I like the the skill wheel better than this stuff like well guess what this is what you got now Deal with it. Air classes come down. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, between pictures, check out. All right, I'll try it. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, the audio stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended. I know, that's because I don't have anything else going. It's just a microphone. Yeah, it's also, unfortunately, there is really no uh, further development on it from Funcom. They they still do their events through, you know, during like the Halloween, Christmas, uh, anniversary, their Equinox events that they do. So there's still work on it. It's just, no, there's no further content that we know of continuing. So if I go in my character, now it's also a good thing if you want to uh, download, it's a free to play game on Steam. I would suggest installing it on an SSD or uh, M.2 drive. As a um, record hard drive, you're gonna have long load times. Ah, there it is, okay.
right, so once you have your game and the mod installed or copied over into the, the correct folder, when you start up the game, you'll notice a very subtle change in your top menu bar. There is now a red RP button that you can select that brings up the information that you can put in for your character information, your biography, your out of character notes or anything like that appearance. You can also download or upload images. So let's go ahead. Now you'll have to do a login because it's, it has a separate server that all this stuff is stored on. So that's the only thing that's different from other mods. So let's go ahead and set up a, I think I did this right. No, I did not do this right. <laughs> Where is it? There you are. You open the screen to register a password or login. You would never use the add-on before on this character. Create a password if it's Okay. And getting a fail. I don't think I never never set this up, did I? Ah. Okay. So now the password is by per character. It's not per account. So each character that you want this particular role play uh, character sheet on, you will have to set up a password for each character. Now, you want to make sure that you remember the passwords for each character, unless you use the same password for every single one, which is not... Uh, suggested but okay now if you lost or you forgot your password it is very difficult to get a new one and it's it's pretty much impossible <laughs> so unfortunately you have to write down or make sure you remember the password that you use for each character now once you go ahead and hit the login you're going to be set up here to change a profile pitch a uh, button what you want to do is click on that and here is where you can go ahead and add in your description you can write in your biography your portrait hair eyes weight age nationality all the good stuff that you want to set up for your character now what you want to do if you see another person that has um it's i don't have anybody here Oh, I saw somebody inside. Let's see. Nope. So let's go to Garita.
Yeah, and all this stuff I'm gonna be cutting out of the video anyway, so. Whatever. And still. Now, if you want to view another person's roleplay profile, what you'll have to do is go ahead and get close to them that the interaction menu pops up, press F, and then there is a link here at the very bottom of this list. When you click on it, if they have set this up, their profile will appear. And of course, if they haven't, you'll get your default that this person has not set up the roleplay, uh, roleplay profile yet. Now, if you want to let them know and they're a role player, go ahead and copy that link, send it over to them and say, hey, I had a school awesome mod that you might want to uh, enjoy and fill out. There you go. So closing. Oh. <laughs> so in closing, these particular, these four mods that we've discussed tonight, or today. Ugh. So in closing, these four mods that we've talked about are just the tip of the iceberg of the different mods that are available to you for Secret World Legends. Now, again, this is probably the third time you've, you've heard this. Use these mods at your own risk. Since the game is, is over almost a decade old, a lot of these mods have been curated but they might cause some issues in gameplay causing crashes or any other kind of weirdness that's been going on so if you do come across a bug please let the developer of that particular mod that you last installed a problem a problem ticket or let them know what's going on and what you want to do is go ahead and uninstall the mod it's a very similar way is by going into the same folder where you put them remove them or uninstall it and delete it restart your game if you have no problems then that is probably the problem was with the mod and let that person the developer know but i will set all the links for each of these mods in the description below and also remember i do stream on the twitch my games are fallout 76 secret world legends guild wars 2 i mostly deal with mmos and mmorpgs now, you can also find me over on Twitter at 2 ton waffle. That's the number 2 ton waffle. And also, I have a link to our Gilded page, or our Gilded server, I should say, that we all discuss any kind of MMOs. We go into depths of mods or anything like that that we can think of. But until next time, happy creating and happy gaming. Have a good night. And that is end of the video. So yeah, this uh, game is actually pretty cool. I mean, um, it's an older game, but it checks out, sir. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for coming by night. And of course, there it crashes again. Uh, you have a good night. Enjoy the uh, soap making and um, your not fight club <laughs> yeah i'm probably gonna be wrapping it up here as well yeah these um youtube uh streams i don't do i don't go very long with them it's just i to uh record a video and also to help interact with the community my growing community and uh, let's just get everything all together and everyone have a great time. Um, with that said, like, like I said before, I do have the um, uh, I guess I know it. I didn't bring up touch portal. But anyways, I do have the if you go to gilded.gg 
uh, breakfast, the breakfast nook. That I think that is the link. But I have a link in the description here as well that takes you right to our server. Be much appreciated if you join in. Anyone also, if you're watching this after the fact of the live recording. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We're having a soap making gathering tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. Soap making. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you definitely have a good night there, Naya. Um, so yeah, I do these. I'm, I'm getting on a regular schedule where I do my game streams over on Twitch, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, and I'll do the uh, gaming recording or gaming video recording here on YouTube on Tuesdays, streamer video recordings on Fridays. And then, of course, uh, I'll do all the editing and stuff like that during the, during the week. Or this one I'll be doing tomorrow during the day. So at least I have something to do. Um, I was going to... Uh, what was I going to do? Do, do? Yeah, um... I didn't want to go through too many um, mods because I didn't want, you know, a long, long video. So I try to keep it 10 to 20 minutes long. And I'm also working... Um, I'm also working on a um, project management where I have all my links to the videos or upcoming future live videos or live streams on YouTube. You should see my Skyrim mod list. Oh, I bet. I've, I know there is um, so many mods for Skyrim. Like, um, who's... Uh, What's his name? Henry from MXR Plays. He's he's been an old uh MX, um Skyrim uh YouTuber as well. You know, you got you know the nude mods, you got your all the the graphics mod, all sorts of different mods. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be planning on doing all these doing these type of videos as well uh going forward. Along with, you know, it's just normal um, game type uh, videos. I'm, I'm compiling, a, trying to compile a list of different topics, you know, top five of such and such a game or top three locations in Fallout or top two of whatever X game. So um, because the Two-Tone Waffle channel uh, here on YouTube, I want to dedicate to just gaming videos and i'm also going to be doing keeping these live streams on it as well but i want to add more of the gaming videos instead of you know gaming and creator type videos so all the creator streamer type stuff is going to go over on the collective networks youtube channel because i decided you know let's go ahead and split this up and try this if it doesn't work it doesn't work. If it works, great. It's all a part of experimentation. But I have also, I did um, a link here. Let me share it. Copy link. Put this in the, in the old chat. It shows up there. Yep, there we go. Um, I'm experimenting with this. It's a... Uh, project manager. It's called Notion, and when you when I first looked at, it, I'm like, uh, what the hell? <laughs> but it, I'm actually I'm actually getting the hang of it. So I'm setting that up. So if I'm going to have scheduling out my future live streams for not only myself but also anything else, because I'm also going to be looking at doing indie games as well here on YouTube. I want to keep the Twitch side of things as dedicated to solely MMOs or MMORPGs. 
and all sorts of stuff like that. Just like playing games on Twitch. Twitch is good for that. YouTube, I can dive a lot deeper in certain aspects of things. And the community on Twitch is slowly growing, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting that up and running. But I'm working on keeping a running list in total of uh, future live streams. I'll have another page set up as like published videos where I have links to all my published work here on YouTube. So I was just trying to make things a lot easier to manage. And it's, it's daunting at first, but for me, I think this is something I, I need to do or to get things scheduled and stuff. Oh, I'm just going to do this and hit go live. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And another thing I want to do is, of course, this chat here. Uh, this is from Streamlabs. I know I said in a prior video that I couldn't get stream elements working. I it works. It's just you have to be you have to be live. That's because the bot is running in your live feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Streamlabs because this is the only thing I use Streamlabs with. So I'm I don't like Streamlabs, but I like stream elements. So that's what I'm gonna work with. I can do all my a lot of stuff through stream elements. So I'll keep it there. <laughs> uh, Naya, I don't know if you're still here, but I did my, um, I had a hot tub stream last night. <laughs> I had this uh, here on the, when I was doing a fallout last night. I was a hot tub streamer. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it going to be for tonight. I'm, um, I got to get with a uh, captain Oates about this indie game podcast idea. I floated to him uh, a while ago and, uh, <laughs> I started to watch the video earlier today. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh yeah. That's, oh, my little, uh, my little rants with Twitch. Ugh. I can't believe that the Twitch, mo it was against moderation that the word smexy, you couldn't use smexy and a go live notification. Uh, Twitch, grow up. Stop being a, a little snowflake. No, you're not even a snowflake. Hell. You're like a, a hailstone that's ruining fun everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it is. It, when you do uh, go live notifications, it tells you it was, um, cause I thought it was, okay, maybe it's the term sexy or, you know, no, I tried, um, hot, I tried the word sexy and that went through fine. Hot tub. That went fine. Uh, the word smexy, S M E X Y, which is just a, a fun way to say sexy for you know games and stuff like that. You would think you know a gaming live stream service platform would be okay with certain words, but hell, smexy is a, a no no. That's a no no word. Can't have that. And um, it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, Nip, um, what's his name? In NYMPL and Cryer, they're larger, uh, just chatting streamers. They were going to be doing a poll, I guess, because he's trying to lose weight. So, um, he was about to get ready to step on a, a you know, a bathroom scale, and they were going to start a poll. Is that is he obese or not? And Twitch blocked the word obese. You can't use obese in a in a on screen poll. So I guess Smexy, obese, and um was was the other one. Oh, the uh, blind playthrough tag has been removed or was removed months ago because uh, probably two people were offended by it that 
had no business being offended because they wanted to insert themselves into it. So Twitch remove the tag blind playthrough. I don't know. Twitch is just basically tearing itself apart for whatever reason. Whoever the people are running that are in the um running the, the show over there don't know exactly what the hell they want or what the hell they're doing. Oh no, it could affect or offend somebody. Yes. One to twelve people could be offended out of millions that watch it or use the platform. Oh no, but we got to cater to those 12 people. Yeah. So anyways, that was my little rant beginning, beginning of my stream last night. That was like the TLDR. <laughs> oh, turn the music back on. So quiet. There we go. But yeah, um, I'm going to be doing, like I said, uh, I'm going to be streaming four nights a week. Two on Twitch, here two on YouTube. And um, expect to see some more gaming videos here on a Teuton Waffle YouTube channel. And all of my streamer content creation type uh, videos are going to be on the Collective Network. Uh, if you don't have the link, I'll give you that link here as well in chat. Once I find it. I, I have everything set up in touch portal, but dummy me didn't um, set things up. Now the collective network is more of a, uh, a collection, of course, of different things. I run a podcast over there also for um, geek parenting and stuff like that. And I'm going to be doing my uh, streamer content creation help tutorial videos and of course the uh, other things as well so be sure to follow that as well and be much appreciated but I am going to go ahead and uh, close out tonight it's a fun night um, I'm gonna go watch um, last week tonight with John Oliver and maybe an episode of the nevers tonight uh, get caught up and uh, I know wife, she's watching uh, starting Handmaid's Tale. So new season's out. I I don't, I know I've, I've already caught up. So I'm just waiting for her to get caught up. Because <laughs> I want to watch a new season. I gotta wait. So frustrating. <laughs> but anyways, I'll say thank you for coming by. Thank you, Naya, for coming by as well. And anyone who uh, comes watches this video, this uh, live stream later, remember all of my um, contacts and links are in the description below. If you have any other questions about the mods I talked about tonight, please leave it also in the comments. And uh, if you want to go ahead, hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell. You know, you know what to do to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell. So until next time, till Friday, I'll see you later. Have a good night, everybody.